ESCOM has been frank with the nation to say that load shedding will remain a feature of our lives until the power supply gap has been filled. So with power outages still an ongoing concern in the country and the shift to renewable energy on a bigger scale taking longer than expected, the thought of going off the grid or choosing a hybrid solution may be the answer. But what's involved exactly? Well, to expand on that for us, I'm joined by Matthew Cruz. He's a solar energy expert. Thank you very much, uh, Matthew, for joining us. What are the best options for South Africans who can afford to make choices in terms of ensuring regular electricity supply. Great, so thank you for having me on the show. So the best option that we recommend is a hybrid solution that involves solar panels and battery installation at your home. And uh, this takes advantage of the cheap cost of solar panels at the moment and solar energy. And the batteries will then also cover your load shedding while storing the energy that's stored from the sun during the day. Mm. I do notice that energy experts tend to batter around this idea of uh, cheaper renewable energy costs and they do say that the cost of producing the energy has decreased uh, as the years have gone by. But just give us a sense of what the capital outlay would be for any of these solutions that you're suggesting. Great. Well, yeah, just before I give you that, that number, uh, just to clarify that you can actually get just a battery installation initially um, as a more affordable option before getting the solar panels. And the battery installation will then charge during the times that load shedding is not happening and then give your home power during the times that there is load shedding. And then solar panels can be yeah, added to that. A full solution for a home that's costing around 3,000 rand a month for uh, covering about 90% of the electricity costs will cost around 200,000 rand for a good quality system. And what I mean by good quality is there's a lot of installers that are installing the lowest quality systems in order to give the best prices. But those systems will only last about three to five years when they should last 15 to 20 years. So we recommend the best products with the best warranties. And as at Home Energy, that's what we provide. Just expand on the battery option for us. How, how does that work exactly? Where do you put it in your home, et cetera, et cetera? Great, yeah, that's a good question. So the, the battery option, I'm not talking about car batteries here. I'm talking about lithium ion, lithium ion batteries that are attached to the wall next to your DB board or in your garage. So uh, relatively close to your DB board. So we, we prefer to install in the garage because it's kind of out the way, it's on the wall, there's usually space there. And that battery is, um, if you spec it right, will, will last four hours for your home's energy needs. And it, uh, if you want to go pretty much completely grid adjacent, uh, you can get a battery that lasts eight hours and then pretty much use uh, only solar energy to uh, cover your entire house, house's needs and then you're paying no money to ESCOM for your monthly fees. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and then I did want to mention that, that there's this concept of going off-grid um, and we don't actually recommend going off-grid completely. You do want to have that connection to get power when you need it from ESCOM because sometimes there's cloud cover for three weeks um, and sometimes there's just not enough battery power to power your home from the solar power that you get. So we do recommend staying connected to the grid but using almost no energy. Yeah, just touching on that, because uh, that brings me nicely to my next question. Um, I've read in places somewhere that should you decide to go completely off-grid, you could well be penalised by ESCOM should you need to return because you don't have the sun or the wind power that you need. Is, is that correct and is that even legal? So, so in terms of that, I, I don't have too much information, but for my current understanding is that there is no penalization at the moment. Uh, there will be a grid connection fee that will be required. But, um, yeah, you can imagine from ESCOM's side, they aren't too keen to have people leaving the grid. So there's going to be things in place that kind of uh, hinders that, that process. And uh, once again, we don't recommend going off the grid because you do want that, you do want that uh, energy um, from ESCOM. And uh, on that note, the grid is in South Africa is actually quite good. Um, and we cover 80% of the country. It's very stable, except there's not enough electricity on it. So when you have load shedding, it's always gonna be a four hour, two hour, six hour um, period. And then after that, the energy will return um, according to schedule. So if you have a battery, that should pretty much cover all of your needs um, just for covering load shedding. Yeah, and, and lastly, of course, we've had the worst load shedding in recent months, sort of the latter part of 2021 and this year. Have you seen a, a sharp increase in people going for these alternative solutions? Yes, yeah, we see the uh, visits to our platform. Every time load shedding happens, the, 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 the traffic increases. And uh, 
Suntime and PwC confirmed this month that load shedding is projected to happen every three days. And that's, that's quite significant. And then on the other side of that, apart from just load shedding, there's also the cost of electricity is, is projected to double within the next five years. And so with the reduced prices of solar and batteries at the moment, the time to invest in a, in a kind of solar and battery hybrid solution is now. This is the best time to invest. Hmm. And you'll see return on investment within three to five years. Matthew, thank you very much for your insights there. Matthew Cruz, he's a solar energy expert from HOME.